So I'd like to introduce the lovely Regan, uh, the host for my recent workshop in York in the UK, the country of my birth which I have not visited since I was 18 months old. So I'm very grateful for you to organise it for me. And it was a sensational workshop, was it not? We had a great time. We had it a great was, time. Was everybody it? loved it. Yeah. They, they did. It was, <laughs> I saw more major transformations in that room in three days than I have on any other workshop that I've run. I'm not just saying that, it's true. You, you opened up the English. Well, <laughs> and didn't they need it? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so tell me, please, what was, how did you get involved with stretch therapy in the first place? Um, well, like Christina, um, I was introduced to it by Rebecca Leon. We have a lot to thank her for. I'm mm -hmm. very grateful to her for that. And she did say, this is the missing link between Pilates. Um, uh, what people are lacking is the flexibility to do Pilates correctly. Yes. And although you can acquire it through Pilates, yes. there was a very efficient, effective way of gaining flexibility more quickly. Yes, and not yeah. just that. It's worth mentioning, I think, at this point that Joe himself, before he designed his system, was in fact a gymnast. He was a gymnast and yeah. a boxer. Yeah, the whole program was designed for fit men. Yes. I mean, I think he was not fit um, as a youngster, and that's why he designed this program, is to become more fit. Yes. But the whole program is designed for fit men, yes. um, even though it's been usurped by the women. <laughs> and I'm so happy with that, <laughs> personally. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, um, mm -hmm. if, if this is applicable to you, has stretch therapy helped you in your own body, and if so, how? And you can mm -hmm. talk about the monkey gym too, if you want. Yeah. No, um, absolutely it has. I've had a, a, some degree of flexibility because I did some dancing when I was sort of seven till 17. Mm -hmm. And I think that sort of sticks with you. For sure. Uh, but it certainly has helped sort of day-to-day -day flexibility um, for posture. Um, and just to, just makes you, it helps you feel kind of loose and more comfortable in your own body. And I think that's really, really helped me. But of course, where I've seen a huge difference is with some of my clients who have been that. very, very kind of closed in. Yeah. Um, and it's really opened them up tremendously. Um, one of the lovely things we hear is that we thought stretch would hurt and it's quite gentle and they're surprised. Yeah. But, so that's really, really fantastic. But you know, one of the things I love about it is I have an 84 year old client who comes to a once a month stretch class on a Saturday morning for two hours. She loves it, she loves it. She sleeps well, everything feels better. And she's 84 and she had the openness to trust some of the stuff that we were doing. Mm. Um, and that's been fantastic. Um, and for my own body, I'm the kind of person who hates going to the gym. Just revolting. Mm. Um, you however, mean, you mean I, the, I, the spandex and the mirrors and the music. All of that, the music and the people yelling at you and screaming at you, and the big chunky guys with all the weights. Oh. They're quite intimidating. Yes. And so for me to discover a method where I can become stronger and don't have to submit to that is a revelation. Well, we saw you doing how many six chin-ups on the beach this morning? Six chin-ups. Six chin-ups. <laughs> With band. It doesn't it's all going in the right direction. Well, if I yeah. could just say mm -hmm. the bands only mm -hmm. take a tiny proportion of yeah. your weight. When, when, yeah. you, when you hang on a bar and feel like you can't do a chin-up, you can probably exert 60 or 70 or maybe even 80% of the, of the strength that's necessary, but the, the, the experience in the body is, I can't do a chin-up. Mm -hmm. So you add a little bit of band support, and that band yeah. that you were using, the first yeah. band that you were using, and that was a heavy one, yeah. probably only provides 20 kilograms of force, mm -hmm. I would say, possibly not even that, but you just flew up. Uh, but that's it's the thing, it, it just helps you understand in your own head, in your own brain, oh, I've, I have done a chin-up now. Yes. It is a possibility. Definitely. This is at the start of something. Yes. Even with support, you can understand immediately that you can then get there eventually if you want to apply yourself, going to a slightly lighter band each time. And the ultimate, obviously, then be able to do it without the band. Yes. Um, but it's a fantastic feeling. I think it's very empowering for a lot of women who are not terribly strong in their upper body to suddenly go, wow. The most common mm. response we have in the monkey gym is around week seven or eight, some woman will come up to me, just quietly up to the side, and, and they'll say something like, you know, it feels absolutely fantastic to be strong. And yeah. I always say, yeah, don't tell everyone. Don't tell. <laughs> but it does, it feels fantastic, yeah. absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, and the other thing I think I told you the other day, um, I uh, texted my friend uh, Katrina, who was on the course with me, I was like, have you been upstairs yet? And she hadn't actually been upstairs. Um, I said, you know, I just... I felt in my own body very powerful yes. and I felt like my, my glutes carried me up the stairs and I literally felt like I was going to go into the loft. <laughs> I had such a spring in my leg, in my bottom, but this whole sort of upward lift 
And so I really felt that the, my body was working much more efficiently yeah. and effectively, and it was a yeah. fantastic feeling. And this was just the result mm. of doing about two minutes worth of exercise, yeah. if you think about yeah. putting it all together. Yeah, yeah, it was Look, fantastic. The, the thing mm -hmm. that the human body loses as it ages is spring. That's mm -hmm. such a good word that you've used. Mm -hmm. and, and in my own body, I've, I've been wanting to get that spring back. Mm -hmm. And so I've been basically playing around with lots of things with yeah. lots of much younger guys to find out how to get that spring that they all have. Mm -hmm. And I think we understand something about that now. Mm -hmm. And there's no doubt these muscles here are the most, most important ones. Yeah. Not only that, it looks good when you have them too. Hey, bonus. You know, mine look pretty good to begin with, but now. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got something to back it up with. You, you do, you do. That's fantastic. And so are there yeah. any other, any mm -hmm. other apart from your 84-year-old lady, yeah. can you mm -hmm. think of any other people who've been helped in, in different ways to that than that? Yeah, ab absolutely. I'm one, one client and she was, had a shoulder issue for a while mm. and literally she, you know, it was one stretching session where we did some upper body work and suddenly her range was enormous and just the look on her face yes. to suddenly go somewhere she'd never been or hadn't been for a long time yes. with no restriction isn't that an amazing thing you're not going to get there every time no. but you see that happen once you think, wow it's yeah. fantastic yeah. Um, and we have our uh, studio in york um, we have what we call our stretch junkies now and they're the people that do a class of pilates a week they'll do a stretch class a week but they love that coming to stretch they love that feeling yeah. How they, how they feel when they walk out after an hour class or a two-hour class, even more. We, we were talking mm. about this in York and, and, and viewers around the world mm -hmm. might not appreciate just what this feels like, especially if you live in a warm climate. But if you live in a very cold climate, and it mm -hmm. was really cold when I was there, yeah. you can experience immediately in your body why people who live in cold climates are generally tighter and move in a more restricted range of movement Absolutely. in all ways. It's just Absolutely. incredible. You're mm -hmm. literally holding tension in your body mm -hmm. to keep warm. Yeah. I yeah. couldn't believe it. Yeah. And so that, that I think, is a, is, a, is a great benefit, to remind the body of what free movement actually feels like. Anyone can talk about this kind of stuff, but um, until you feel it in your body, mm -hmm. and, and going back to the point you were making about chin-ups, mm -hmm. once you feel in your body that it's possible, the brain is rewired by this, and, the next, and then it is possible. Yeah. If you feel yeah. that it's impossible, it absolutely is impossible, mm -hmm. even if it is possible. Yeah, yeah. So where do you see stretch therapy going for you? Um, well, for me, just on a personal level, it's just working with the, my clients that I have and existing clients and again, mm -hmm. um, helping them understand they can be stronger and functionally very stronger. Mm -hmm. And they still don't have to go to that awful gym scenario. Yes. Yes. Um, so that's really, really good. Um, but I just see it helping so many people. And you know, I have a football, I've always loved this footballer in England, it's called Michael Owen. And he's been beset by injuries over the last 10 years, and I just think, cool. if only he could have discovered Kit Laughlin. <laughs> <laughs> Between the stretch and the strength, this little dynamo of a footballer would have been a different person what's and a different his, player. What's his name again? Michael Owen. Michael Owen, if you're out there listening, contact us immediately. He's going to retire at the end of the season That's crazy. at 33, and it's just mad. I know, I know. He needs you badly. <laughs> well, it is the case that most professional athletes mm -hmm. around yeah. somewhere between 30 and 35, no later than 35, mm -hmm. it, all the context that they work in, the mm -hmm. coaches that they work with, the expectations of the audience, and mm -hmm. it is that they're, they're finished. They're at the end yeah. of their career. Andre Agassi, who is one of the longest mm -hmm. living, you know, as in top performers, I think he yeah. retired when he was 33 or 34. I know. That's, for me, that's it's such insane, a waste. Isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just think it's, it's, it's very useful for so many different types of people. Mm. It doesn't have to be the elite athlete, but it mm. can be. Sure. And as you said, it can be the 84 year old sure. as well. And um, as you mentioned before, I think it's just that lovely layering. Uh, this is, can be accessible to a whole bunch of people yes. on so many different levels. Yes. Where do you see stretch therapy going in your own business? Um, or, is it, or is it a case of crossing the fingers <laughs> and hoping that it's going to all work out okay? <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. As going as alongside Pilates, we're just looking for that to be as a, an, an extra thing, yes. um, and and to just to, to to grow it and to have yes. that be a real sort of viable part of the business just by itself. Because yes. I think people are very interested in becoming stronger, yes, they are. and um, they just need a really good system that can they can follow at a really decent level for them. Mm. Combine that with a stretch. I just think yes. it's a it's dynamite for yeah. a lot of what I call I, I work with normal people. Oh. I don't work with big athletes. We have a lot of kind of broken wing classes, and I see improvements with them, so that's fantastic. Yes. And a lot of sort of normal mid-range people. Yes. And um, so that's, for, for me, that's where I see it mostly, because those are the kind of people I deal with. Yes. And for myself, not having come from a fitness background, 
I got into Pilates because I, I too had had an injury, like a lot of people, a back injury. Sure. Got a lot of benefit from, from, benefit from that yes. and investigated. So a lot of people who are in kind of my sort of universe are very similar to me in that yes. way. Yes. And that, that nor just day-to-day -day people can get a really good benefit and that they would move more easily in their body and feel more comfortable. And then we also see this lovely emotional work that comes through it as well, which yeah. I thought is, is, is really exciting. Which is a real um, shock, isn't it? It is a surprise. It's, it's a surprise, it's a shock, and I think it's um, very good for unlocking the English. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, one, one of the books that I reference mm. in both of my books is, is Antonio Damasio's um, Descartes' Error. I mean, mm -hmm. it, I'll, I'll, I'll put that up on a, on, a, on a label on the bottom of the screen so people can look mm -hmm. at it. But that was a book that I read maybe 10 years ago, I think, and it, it literally changed my perspective on my own work because I realized that when we stretch someone's physical body, mm -hmm. we're actually stretching the stuff that makes their emotional body. Yeah. And, and up until recently, most people have thought that emotions were a property of the brain, but that's not in fact the case. They're yeah. actually a physical property which the brain observes and reflects on and reacts to and of course can yeah. bring about too. Yeah, and we see a lot of that, and there's the emotional release that comes with the, some of the physical release. Yes. And that's just a very interesting um, place. One thing I would like to say is that I was asked recently by um, a bunch of physiotherapists, what's the goal of this work? Mm -hmm. Now, if you're a physiotherapist, you're thinking about uh, improvements in range of movement and all those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. But what I said was, the goal of this work, I believe now, is grace and ease in the body. Now, mm -hmm. it doesn't sound like much of a goal, does it? Except that most people that we know don't experience their life or their body as graceful and easy. No, no. That's the goal of the work. And it's a fantastic goal. Mm, thank you. It's a simple, easy concept yes. um, that people, most people know they don't have yes. what they would like. Yes. So it's, a, it's absolutely crucial. Well, I wish your studio well because I want to thank come you. back. We want you back. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you.